Hey guys, welcome back to another Gooby Rock video. I've got a crazy one for you today. My first video on this KVK was that it is the weirdest KVK ever. And that is definitely still the case. Uh, especially with events that evolved today. So, there was a gen general consensus taken that 1056 who is in water camp will get this altar. So we did not touch any of the 1056 marches. They earned this honor by fighting in zone seven. Now 2050 on the other hand, who decided to queue up for a war KVK, the stratagems KVK and do a recovery. We didn't feel as a coalition of, of three kingdoms, 1056, 3102, and 3083, that 2050, without fighting, deserved honor rewards. So, we decided to, to kick them out of there. And it is because they told us, before Zone, six, before zone 7 opened, Hi, sorry for late reply. We will fight in Zone 7. My opinion is with numbers advantage, we should definitely lock down Zone 7. If Greenwood doesn't come to our Z7, we'll just push towards their Pass 7. If they come, we will play defensively and wait for you guys to build over. I am also thinking about retaking Z5 if they are going to push towards Fire Camp. Now, none of this happened. None of this happened whatsoever. They did not fight in Zone 7. They did not push Z5 when Fire Camp went to fight Greenwood. Or when Greenwood went to fight Fire Camp. So all of this was a lie. They they did not fight in Zone 7. They placed a fortress, they built some flags, and then they let everything free burn. We were trying to reach the leadership team the entirety of the Zone 7 fight. They all ignored us. We, we tried Discord. We tried... Rise of Kingdoms chat, our allies chat with them. We even tried reaching them in Lost Kingdom, like reaching, you know, their R3s and having their R3s reach out to their R4s, and we could not get them to even reply during the, the Zone 7 fight. So it was just straight up a lie. So now what happens due to this? Well, 2050 kicked 1056 out of their alliance, out of their coalition, took their crusader camp and cut their territory. So there is currently a civil war in the water camp going on as we speak. It's absolutely wild. They are burning the fortress. They're burning the flags that touch the crusader camp. If we scroll out over here, uh, I'm sure they're zeroing cities in here that are off territory because they did that. Where is it? Um, I think it was here. Yeah. They're zeroing 1056 cities. The 1056 that actually fought in Zone 7. So it's really a pathetic move by them. They queue up for a recovery KVK, but they have the troops required to to have a civil war in in their camp, which is absolutely absurd. <laughs> that is absolutely wild. I'm in the middle of a work day. 2050 lost OL and now lost all respect. Why do people from the same camp try to betray? It's meaningless. <laughs> wow. People know me a little too well. 2050 are cooked now. Gooby make a clickbait video about 2050. Um, here goes another 50 rally. It's going to hit this city. I think this was headed for the 70 mil guy. Scipio Garrison, really unfortunate. It, it's just going to get absolutely decimated. This guy's going to get full zeroed. He's just offline. He probably has nothing to do with anything. He might not even be at the ruins, completely honestly, considering the location of his city. And they're just going to zero him because, because of uh, 
they're lying about fighting in Zone 7. That all stems from their actions. I mean, all you have to do is queue for what is, you know, accepted as a recovery KVK, such as Niles. But instead, they queue for stratagems, pick a pick a camp ally, and then do a recovery KVK. I mean, this is just honestly a disgusting kingdom, in all honesty. Look at this. All these players, I mean... They're all just sleeping, or they're at work, or at their, or they're at school. They're gonna log in tomorrow, and their months of prog progress is gonna be wiped for absolutely no reason, other than the fact that 2050 went back on their word. It's just really disgusting. This one's headed for what city? I mean, it's just hilarious that they have the troops to rally cities like this. But they don't have the troops to participate in our KVK. I mean, it's just such a joke. Recovery KVK hitting cities looks great. New update by Lilith. That's exactly what I'm saying, dude. Like, that's wild. Recovery, why entering KVK dumb? Why do you care about an altar? You all all guys know, already know that we're doing a recovery from the start. That was the case. And then we got this message on the 4th. In our Alliance Discord with Water Camp and Earth Camp and Wind Camp. They specifically told us that they were going to fight, and it was supposed to be a surprise, and it would have secured our Zone 7, we wouldn't have lost our fortresses, we would have been able to fight because 2050 is an Imperium Kingdom with a ton of players, great garrisons, great rallies, you know, they're, they compete in the OL, so you know, you know they're stacked there, and they just blatantly lied and and that's what this is all about i mean <laughs> i guess you can recover more rss by looting you your allies good strategy it's so wild they just don't realize that their leadership told us that they were going to fight and we committed way more troops Way more resources, way more speed ups, delaying thinking that at some point 2050 was going to log in and start fighting. And we just wasted, you know, 16 hours fighting for nothing when if they would have just been upfront and honest with us, we, we would not have fought as hard in the zone. We would have just given back. So it's just a joke. You know, we wasted our DW fortress here. That's our that's our third best fortress. We wasted the SH fortress here. That's our first best fortress. We wasted a TC fort here. That was our second best fortress. And of course, 1056 wasted their fortress and their flags and their time and their resources and their speed ups, all because 2050 told us that they were going to fight. And now they're just going to zero their allies, their campmates. I mean, all all legitimacy around this kingdom should just completely vanish. I mean, this is what this is maybe the worst thing I've ever seen in KVK. And like I said, it's not like they don't have the ability to fight, and it's not like it's not a winnable KVK. If you look over here, we have Kingsland. So, if they just would commit to fighting, there'd be no problem. But you can't trust them now because they commit to fight, they don't, and now they burn out their allies. I mean, it's just, it's just truly disgraceful.
I feel for 1056. I hope the damages are not too high. But unfortunately, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of their main players that are out here that are just going to get zeroed because of this. And now their King's Land comes into question. Can they even show up because of because of the damage that 2050 is about to, to do to them? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have not already, drop a comment, and I will catch you guys in the next video.